this video will not show a install of Windows 10 on a MacBook but will explain the procedure how to start and how to do it you will need to know how to install Windows 10 yourself if you don't know how to install Windows 10 this video is not for you this video is for people that have a MacBook and want to try or install Windows 10 as the only operating system on their device. Hello YouTube, my name is Brooke Darlington. At midnight we will have the launch of Windows 10 and we're already getting ready for that special moment and our laptops that had the little update metro little thingy at your clock tonight it will be the moment that the big upgrade will find place so for all of you having a little party out there i hope you also received uh, your uh, windows 10 t-shirts mine are in i have uh, yeah a black one and a white one as a matter of fact I have two black ones I was uh, kind of yeah really uh, in the mood so this is also uh, uh, a short uh, review of my uh, Windows 10 t-shirts this is how it looks they are pretty good quality and nowhere is written Windows 10 or Microsoft it's just the logo and uh, well those uh, that know will know what it is and if not then you and me will know so this is it uh, so I hope you all gonna open up the champagne bottles tonight and uh, start installing Windows 10 but that is not what this video is about this video is about um, installing Windows 10 as the only operating system on a MacBook and you will be like hey hey oh, 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 oh. How you mean? Only operating system? How is that possible? Isn't it like that uh, Mac must be installed on the machine before you can install Windows beside it? Well, it was always like that. That is correct. But the UEFI bias is a kind of updated bias that will only allow operating systems to run that the company that created that de that device with that UEFI bias decided uh, to run on to. So meaning this Acer tablet that I have, you know, it by Acer it was uh, decided that Windows 8.1 should run on it or Windows 8 and nothing below. Apple has an EFI bias and Windows has a UEFI bias. In some way, the UEFI bias of Windows kicks the Apple E5 bias and goes straight to and starts booting as if the device was created for Windows 10. So I'm going to teach you in this small, well, small short video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start. Uh, for instance, uh, if you have a MacBook or some other Mac device with an Intel processor uh, and you want to keep all your data, I would remove the hard drive out of it, put it aside somewhere in your safe, get a new hard drive, pop it in your MacBook, you know, and make a new start with Windows 10 only on that on that hard drive. Okay, so what you're going to do is, in fact, you're going to create a refit bootable USB stick. We're going to jump into the computer and see how that must be done. Look, today I'm going to show you how to create a bootable refit USB stick. You're like refit USB stick. What is that? Well, a refit USB stick will let you boot uh, from a Mac. And uh, for instance, you just installed a new hard drive uh, and you have no DVD drive, then probably you can just pop in your Mac uh, USB bootable stick and then hit option and boot up from that. That will go just fine. But um, if you want to install, for instance, Windows 10, like in my case, then you uh, might want to boot from a bootable USB stick or a bootable DVD. But then you will need something to boot from. 
and a boot selector will let you um, choose and do that and refit is one of them so that's why we're gonna do refit so what we're gonna do uh, we're gonna hit uh, restore and we're gonna restore refit to the USB drive that is this one you see that and then we're just gonna hit restore and then erase put in the put in your administrator password and there you go box is being copied and there you go the stick is done as you can see the stick also shows uh, refit so at this point we can uh, remove the USB stick so let's eject and this stick will now be bootable uh, on any Mac uh, by holding the option key option key that is the out on your Mac just hit out while, while turning the computer on and keep holding out until you until you see the refit sign logo and just uh, select that and boot your Mac from refit uh, make sure you already had your uh, Windows installer uh, uh, USB or DVD inserted into the Mac so you can uh, choose uh, that one for installation so you saw the complete process it was really easy this was done on the Mac uh, we did it with the ISO file that we got from refit from the website of refit and you know I have no idea if I can also do this with a Windows machine I think it should also be possible to create a bootable USB stick for the Mac you know on a Windows machine for instance with power ISO but I'm not really sure I'm not really sure so we will have to test that I think it should be because the information is in the CDR uh, ISO uh, file so it doesn't matter how you write it if it was done in, on the Windows or you restore it with Mac I think it would have the same result so we will have to find out about that so not tested in Windows yet only tested in Mac so this is how to you know uh, create your bootable USB stick for a refit boot up by holding the option key as I already said in the video and you will be brought into the menu so you can boot up from your CD your Windows 10 CD or maybe another bootable USB stick that you created with the Windows 10 files on it and just boot your Mac and install Windows create your GPT partition and you know um, you might find out that sometimes um, the boot up from the going to you know really starting to boot up uh, you must always remember that there is a kind of confusion in there at the start okay not that it will have any problems or give any problems when you use your Mac your Mac won't die because of that you know it's only that this, the EFI software of Apple does not really know what is happening when the UEFI of Windows comes inside and it gets all overruled and sometimes it's also a little bit fighting and then you know it gets knocked out by <laughs> UEFI of Windows and then Windows will start up to fasten up that procedure when you turn on the machine hold down the alt on your MacBook hold it down and you will see that your drive will pop up that is your hard drive and then just hit enter and let the system boot and your Windows 10 system will be running and up about um, activation um, well uh, if you gonna do this uh, now then uh, you won't be able to get a free version anymore just as we did we the testers uh, that's why we have a little party today we the testers we all got free versions of uh, of, of, of Microsoft uh, as a reward for testing Windows 10 
and that's why my I have two Macs that are legally blessed by Uncle Microsoft so thumbs up there and uh, yeah tonight I will see how this Dell will be updated because I have a legal windows on this and it has the little metro thingy I already you know said that I wanted to upgrade so it will happen between midnight and tomorrow and the days after because you know many computers will be updated after 12 o'clock so it will take some time uh, to all of you also there on Windows 10 to all the beta testers to all the insiders I want to say thank you for you know being there all this time with uh, yeah with all of us together and uh, I wish you very much pleasant time tonight if you go party I also hope that you received your window shirts if not then yeah you must make them yourself but uh, I hope that you have a great time there with Windows 10 peeps I say hasta la vista good luck there creating your Windows uh, 10 MacBook and of course uh, have fun with the upgrade tonight and please let me know in the comments how the upgrades went and uh, if you're happy with your new Windows 10.